Good afternoon. It's what day is it, Alex? Wednesday? Tuesday? Monday? Monday! <laughs> Got there eventually. It's Monday and we've had a bit of a like oh my god, it's so bright. We've had a bit of a kind of mishmash of a morning because we were gonna go on a bike ride this morning and um, we kind of, we stayed up a bit too late last night so we sort of slept in a bit and then we had some breakfast and then we were kind of like, should we just go after lunch? So we're gonna have lunch because Alex said that the UV rays, what was it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the UV rays are at their strongest at midday, obviously, because mm. the sun's at the strongest position. The weather stays 30 degrees, or well, today at least it's 30 degrees from 9 p.m. 9 a.m. till like yeah. 3 p.m., 4 p.m. So the weather's kind of the same all day. But, uh, yeah, it should be less. Less chance of a sunburn, you know, it goes like, wee. Yeah, so we were planning on leaving at like 9, and then getting there and having lunch there and coming back in the afternoon, then kind of sunbathing and swimming later. Yeah. But we were just like, let's go, let's have lunch, so we're properly fed. Yeah, this might and be then, even better because yeah. we won't be sort of stuck wherever we're going at midday, tired and... Wondering how we can get food because we didn't, know, yeah, exactly. we didn't know what vegan options there would be. We're going to a place called Felon Trinks? Felonitz. 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 I say felonitz. It's got an X at the end. I don't think that's how you say it. But. Whatever. But there's like a little, like, hill. <laughs> it's not a mountain, is it? Uh, San Salvador. No, it's like 500 metres, so it's not insignificant, but it's not a mountain. Yeah, so we're going to go up that. We're going to rent a bike <laughs> after we've had some food and, um go there and have a look around and come back and maybe do what we did yesterday. Yesterday we kind of, before dinner, we jumped in the sea and it was really nice and go, mm. went for a swim. So we might do that when we get back. Get some snorkeling. And my hair's yeah. gone really curly. <laughs> I feel like, um, I don't know, Moana or something. My hair's so big and curly. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I can't keep my eyes open because it's so bright it's here. It's like reflecting. Yeah, the, the glass yeah. and the sea. Um, we're gonna go back to good old Treff and um, have some food. We had an amazing meal last night, so I think I'm gonna have something similar today. Yeah. The potato croquettes. I could eat them all day. Me too, I'm gonna get them. Oh, we need to try the tofu nuggets, maybe. Off the kids' menu. Yeah, there's like tofu nuggets on the kids' menu and we really yeah. wanna try them. Oh, I've got, we could take the GoPro with this, couldn't we, mm -hmm. on the bike? And we could mm -hmm. do a selfie stick. Yeah, we're gonna take the GoPro and we'll take this camera as well so we can get nice views. We were thinking of not taking this camera, we thought, but then we thought it's nice for the wide angle when we get on top of the hill. Oh yeah, definitely. To get some, Good, good shots of the view. So, gosh, so backlit. So let's go to Treff. Food has arrived. We ordered potato croquettes, pizza, and baguette, and I can't eat the rest of that. I am so full. I'm like sweating. I might go to the toilet and then see how far you've made it through the pizza. I'm finished. How's it going? So close. I feel like I've had two lunches. Well, you have, because you, you had half of my pizza and a baguette and potato croquettes. And I early. So tasty though. Okay, lunch is done. Alex is defeated. We're going to get some money out and then. You say Alex is defeated? Yeah. But I ate everything. Oh. I defeated lunch. It we're going to get. Have residually defeated me after. Oh, it's very noisy That's here. Neither here nor there. We're gonna get some cash out and then we're gonna go and get our GoPro and then ring the bike place and get our bikes. And then attempt to cycle up a big hill. Yeah, in 30 degree heat. It's windy though, which is nice. So we've got our first bike. This is gonna be Alex's. And he's just gone next door to try and find another one for me because they have aluminium bikes and carbon bikes. But we need two that are like large. This is large aluminium. The carbon one's a bit more expensive and we don't need a carbon one. So we're trying to see if there's another large that is aluminium. So fingers crossed they have one. Everyone's saying we're mad because it's too hot to cycle. And we're like, nah, we've cycled in Thailand. <laughs> it's fine. So we now have our bikes here. Alex. Hey. He's got his bike. And we're now, whoa. We're gonna go back to the place because we forgot the screw for the GoPro. Yeah, we got the stick, we got the GoPro, but not the screw that holds so, it all together. Yeah. It's a late yeah. start, it's like half yeah. two. The, um, they didn't have any pedals on the bikes. 
and the manager, the guy who knew what he was doing, wasn't there. So I had to put them in. And then we got this guy. Got this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Right, we need to go. We're going. We've got a flat tire. I'm in a mood. We're literally five minutes from where we started. We've not even got out of the complex and we've got a flat tyre. Alex looked at the map and there was a main road or kind of like a road that was parallel that wasn't a main road so we thought oh let's go on that one and it was a dirt track and we cycled along it for about a minute and then got a flat tyre. And it's like 3pm, hot and I'm just a bit fed up I just don't even want to do this bike ride anymore. We've had one of those days where everything's gone wrong like this morning we were quite fed up by how everything went a bit wrong we were a bit delayed and we ended up going after lunch even though we didn't really portray that, we were a bit fed up. And now we're even more fed up because when we're at the bike shop, the guy who owned it wasn't there. So we were waiting for him. And then we ended up doing the pedals ourselves. And now we've got a flat tire. And it's just, I'm concerned about not getting the bikes back in time because we have to get them back by eight, which is five hours from now. And it takes two hours to get there and two hours back. So that's really tight. And that doesn't give any room for wandering around or stopping or taking pictures or looking around the town it literally means we cycle there and we cycle back and we're going to be starving by then if we're cycling man don't make it easy do they You're rude. Alex, that's disgusting. Alex, stop it, it's gross. Nearly there. Alex, you're gross, stop. <sighs> Alex, that's gross, you're not gonna include that. One more for good luck. You're not gonna include that in the video. Now my least favorite bit. At least there's no disc brakes. High five! That was really fast. It was. That's, I don't think I've ever had to do a, like a roadside tyre repair before. That took you about five minutes. I recorded most of it. <laughs> Just gently. Okay. Thank you. Well, I better use any. Don't rub it on your, hat, your trousers. Why? Because you've got grime all over the hands. Oh. You all leave marks. so much and my, my mouth is so dry. We brought like four litres of water with us, didn't we? Yeah. We're getting there. We had a moment where we're about to give up. But we're keeping going. Just got to get up here. Okay, so we're a kilometre from the top. I don't know if it's because we're out of practice or because this was really brutal. I think both. We've run out of water. 
I can't speak. But look. So pretty. Hello. To put it in perspective, we never ever once, I think I once got off my bike in Thailand uh, for Doistep just because we wanted to look at the view and another time because I needed wee and that was the only times I ever got off my bike. Uh, Moncham, Samong, Doistep, everything and we've got off our bike so many times on this one. We did in Bali because we got stuck on those gravel roads but yeah. we I don't know what it is about this. Is it the heat? It's the heat. It's a different type it's of heat. It's the sun, it's just the sun. The relentless sun. I've only had this feeling on a bike once before and that was when we did that like 100 and 20 kilometer ride mm. and it was like in the heat in the heat and we were going like 30 kilometers an hour or more mm. and it's like your body is like hey what are you doing mm. what the hell are you doing mm -hmm. but you can't stop i also had a panic attack i've only ever had one one other panic attack well, i've had other panic attacks but i've only ever had one other serious panic attack and that was in hanoi in vietnam and i had another one at the bottom here alex was like don't you can't continue but i was like we're so close so I managed to get my shit together. I'm not someone who gets panic attacks. I think I've had like three or four in my life. But oh my gosh, we need, I need to put this down. We'll see you at the top. So close. I'm stuck up. I thought I had my helmet on my head still. It feels like it. We never ever ever drink these sorts of drinks, but we need them right now. I we can feel sugar. it. Mm -hmm. I can feel the sugar rushing to every cell in yeah, my yeah. body. Yeah, I literally can as well. I literally haven't drank Coca-Cola, I think, since university. But like, literally, how long ago was that? Four, Four years? years ago? Four or five years ago? Like, I don't drink Coke. Mm. But I just saw it and I just thought, it's got sugar. Huge plastic free July fail. Yeah. But sometimes you just can't but avoid least, it. We're gonna take them back and at least they'll go in the recycling. You know? Yeah, sometimes you just, we were really, really disorganized today with going late and not preparing and not bringing food with us. We should have brought some um, dates with us and some like energy bars. Yeah, well the thing, we, we should passed, have put some sugar in our water. Yeah, we passed, oh yeah, we passed by the, um, Supermarket, and we're like, we haven't got any time to stop. No. We need to get because we need to get the bikes back by so, eight. This is a le lesson learned, but honestly, sometimes you just have to. It's really annoying, and I hate it. But yeah. To be fair, I we don't ever buy these ever. Like, I never. Can't remember the last time I ever bought. Last them. time we bought this was in Thailand last year. Yeah. But they had glass bottles in Thailand, so it was okay. Oh yeah, and cans. And cans. cans yeah. yeah. I don't remember the last time I bought a bottle, like a plastic bottle of anything apart from like big ones for water when on holiday yeah even then we've been recycling we've been using We're tap using water now. Them with tap water i like to do it when i first arrive i don't know if i'm really fussy but i don't want to shock the system so i can yeah. take it easy when i go somewhere new anyway can't beat ourselves up because we just climbed a mountain and we we try our hardest everywhere else yeah. it's very frustrating i hate using plastic like that wastefully i don't mind it if i like want something if i'm like well that's the thing I do it with like the other day when I mentioned about the crisps and stuff. Sometimes you just want snacks and you can't, you have no way around it. And this is that situation. I, I think that's when um, things like zero waste fail a bit. You have mm. to adapt. You can't beat yourself up because life gets in the way. If you're living um, in a plastic filled world, you can't always be plastic free. Mm. My hair. It's like the saltiest, sweatiest hair. This hair, the hairstyle is the best hairstyle for like mm. cycling because you have no, nothing at the back on your neck. Feels so nice. What are we gonna do now? I think we'll probably see you when we get back because I can't yeah. film anymore. Then we'll go to a viewpoint. 
Oh yeah, maybe we'll go to that viewpoint and get some pictures there. And get a nice little 360. Yeah. The monastery is cool. Yeah, let's go up there and have a look and then... And see, uh, there might be a nice view on the other side. Yeah, because we rang the bike, Maddie rang the bike shop. They're fine. And we'll take it back early in the morning. In the morning, yeah. Yes, yeah. Because <sighs> I don't want to cycle tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to pay for two days. No, they'll be fine. Go on, look. Go on, look at the edge. Go on. Oh, don't stop breathing like that. Hold my hand, it's not that bit far. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what about this way? It's when it's like a solid, flat landing. I don't like it. When it's like a gradual, that's nice. It's not that far because we're above the restaurant. Oh. That's it. Uh, it still dies. Thank you.